Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today I'm going to showcase to you the skills for Awakened Jushiun. Okay guys, so what we have here is going to be Awakened Jushiun's skills. So he's an Awakened SSR, as we all know. He's a striker, counter, and at 6 cost. So our hot Shiyun looks like a counter attacking monster that can survive quite a bit thanks to his 100% evasion in both his special and his ultimate skill. So take note of that. So his crazy stats that he has 70k HP, 1.1 defense, 840 evasion and 1.2 crit at level 10. So again, this is this is just without gear. So once you gear him, it's easy to you know to bump up his evasion to 1.5, defense defense probably to 1.5 as well, 2,000 HP could easily be bumped up to 90k, and crit as well can be bumped up easily. So um, if his skills um, do um, do activate in crit, so crit could be one of the what they call this one of the priorities for him. He also has damage tolerance stats. So Esterosa, LSY, and Amina received it recently. Um, he's going to be crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy OP and good, which makes him very, very tanky. Okay, so KR PvP scores. So he's going to be a 10 out of 10. He is very similar to AU. And I can carry your team at Shadow Palace because there's a lot of counter type units that he can easily counter. And the skills are the biggest problem in SP or Shadow Palace. Also in raids, he deals quite good damage. And even without a perfect gear, he sits at the top 5 damage dealers most of the time. So again, another monster for Striker. So KR PvP is going to be a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, the initial test shows that he's broken. He can even counter... Entry to the battlefield skills or ETB from Amina and ALSY. But at the same time, there are multiple ways to counter him. He can totally suck against E1 teams and just dies without doing anything. Against counter teams, he needs someone to peel for him because Ifrit and Militia can also melt him with their absurd attack speed and damage combination. So, is he future proof? Yes, definitely. So, again, for his basic attack, using his sword hits the target in front, dealing AoE damage. Parties over. This is actually his passive. So, after critting four times, receives a buff. If Shion is hit with a basic attack, during the buff duration, he counter counterattacks with a long range attack that reaches the back line. And for 4 seconds after the counter-attack, he can't gain stacks of the buff, but gains debuff immunity instead. Again, contributes to his survivability. At skill 5, counter-attack deals true damage and target hit has its skill sealed for 4 seconds. Okay, so it can't do anything and he'll receive true damage. So, Battle Foresight is his special at 26 second cooldown. When a non-ultimate attack hits, hit stuns Jushion, the damage is nullified and he counter-attacks, stunning the target for 2 seconds. For 6 seconds after the, the casting the skill, Jushion's skill haste is reduced by 50%, but he evades all attacks. All skill At skill level 5, cooldown of the skill is reduced by 6 seconds each time the passive counter-attack is used. So again... Um, there are some drawbacks in his special, but it outweighs the benefits. And then his last is his ultimate, where the heart goes. The sword. There is a sword, a 54 second cooldown. Cuts through reality, dealing damage to targets in front of him. Invades all attacks for 12 seconds after casting the skill. Okay. He can't be killed. Uh, he can't be killed, but again, it's very difficult to kill him. At skill 5, the cooldown of the skill is reduced by 6 seconds each time the passive counter attack is used. Okay, so again, um, he's going to be pretty much an OP beast um, for both K uh, KR, PvE, and PvP. And as well, I think, for Southeast Asia. And more or less as expected, as I expected, he's going to excel in both content. So again, everybody could really use him in their team. So I'll take you guys to his uh, skill showcase right now. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, so we're here in my KR account. Um, I don't usually play this um, a little a little bit. So this is going to be him um, for the release. Let's go to a bit of a showcase. Okay, so here he is. Um, again, um, I can't read uh, Korean. So in terms of his skill preview, it's actually... Um, um, for me, I don't understand it. So this is actually a skill preview in Korean. Let's go to his... Um, what do you call this? To his uh, actual skill so that we could preview what he can do so let's put out um some goodies here um on the ai and let's drop him here um entrance really really looks cool so so one one two three four four slashes actually for his uh for his uh uh what they call this for his basic attack let's take a look at his special skill so one huge slash in the middle. So assume that he can only attack uh, ground. And let's take a look at his special skill, guys. Oh. With that skill having an effect on black and white, I'm sure he's going to wreak havoc. So pretty much interested and excited on when he's coming out. Um, in terms of Southeast Asia, so a lot of you guys, um, including me, are have been you know hyped up about his release recently. And again, who wouldn't you know? I, I couldn't blame you guys. So again, this is a sample of what he can do. Again, for his um, special skill, then for his um, ultimate. Ouch! So there were a couple of hits there. So. More or less, guys, this is what he's going to bring us once he drops for Southeast Asia. It will, I think, be a couple of weeks or months before we get him. So as soon as he drops for Southeast Asia, uh, I'm sure that I'll be covering his skills and actively showcasing you guys what he can do for us. Okay, so for those who are here, please consider subscribing to my channel. This actually helps me a lot. And also, don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any counterside videos. Also, guys, don't forget to put a like to this video if you if you feel that this video is informative to you. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.